is today? Today is the day. <laughs> what day? We leave for Italy. Adventure <laughs> awaits day. 120 days of nothing. We are finally going on our very first adventure. We have seven adventures lined up this year. Seven. And you at home are going to be coming with us virtually on every single one of them. We'll see you when we're on the road to the airport. Hey, what's different? Your glasses. My glasses, courtesy of GlassesUSA.com, have arrived. Mm -hmm. Love them. What do you got? I am going to get to the airport early. Yay. We're going to relax until our flight. Yay. It's a... Uh, Kind of day, Very gloomy. Uh, let's get out of here. Yeah, right. <laughs> Hope you got your bags packed. Hope you got your virtual check-ins ready to go because we are on our way. That was the most flawless security I've ever gone through. The check-in with Scandinavian Airlines was so easy. And then we go through TSA like a breeze. When was the oh, last time? Yes. What? Your seat oh yeah, got my seat changed. She was having an anxiety attack. Yeah, separation anxiety. Your eyes are rolling in the back of her head. She wasn't going to be able to sit next to me. So they, uh, they rewarded her by uh, moving us both. Yeah. So we get sit next to me. Mm-hmm. And when she wants to say that we are not Right? <laughs> right. <laughs> All right, so we're going to the gate. We made it through the gate. We made it through passport control. Please don't right? come over that way. I'm not. <laughs> hey. You don't walk too slow. All right, guys, so we're off to the gate. Stay tuned for more updates. Well, this is the exciting part of our four-hour layover <laughs> in between flights. It won't be a whole four hours, but we did get a couple of extra hot Americano coffees over here. All right, so we have a real cafe table and a couple of chairs in the uh, waiting area, the Oasis uh, Copenhagen Airport. So we're going to enjoy our coffee. And then uh, on the way back, we're going to Murphy's Pub, right? <laughs> no. But we might get ourselves some chicken on a stick on the way back. All right, so stay tuned for possibly more airport footage mm -hmm. before we take our next connecting flight in a couple hours. So if you're just tuning in on this part of the video, we're in the Copenhagen airport, and I've never seen an airport like this before. So the next update we're going to give you is when we're getting to Rome. Maybe we'll find that open piano. <laughs> we had a stop here at this nice little stand called Steph Holberg by Danish Crown. Someone insisted on getting some snossages, mm -hmm. so he got a... Spicy sauce, no, uh, an herb spice, uh, an herb spice sausage with Danish mustard, Danish relish, and some raw onions. And what do I have? We have fried onions, pickles, and a cheese stuffed frankfurter. All right, so let's try this. Mmm. Mm. That's really good. Mm -hmm. The famous Fulatino Airport. We made it to Rome. All right, baggage claim, here we come. So it's a three hour ride. We'll give you some more updates along the way. We'll be getting into good old Spino Saturnia where my family is in three hours. Anything you want to say? Mm -mm -mm -mm. He's too focused. I gotta drive the car, honey. He's too focused. Driving a dog in my automobile. That was a bad accident we saw. It was, it happened right, right before we got there. Thank God, if we, we weren't in it. If we didn't stop at the restaurant for, for a couple of 
had thrown us, we would have been in it. Yeah, we would have been done. But uh, I know I'm driving down the highway around here. We're looking for some spaghetti for Lucia. And where's the Olive Garden when you need one? <laughs> the perfect solution for your Olive Garden problem. What's that? We could go to McDonald's. Oh, McDonald's. Would you like to go to McDonald's Mc in Italy? The McCafe. We could get ourselves an espresso. There you go. A double espresso. I think we should go to McDonald's. Yes, mm -hmm. I think we should go to McDonald's. We finally got some food to eat. This is my squid, or my calamari. Calamari. You can really see the little squids there. Tentacles. <laughs> One's got some ribs over there. We also had some seafood salad and we had some, I don't know what it was called, a ch chiafici or something? Some kind Artichoke of- Artichoke cart. Artichoke cart, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, great stuff, and he's got his wine. Yeah. All right, my Coke Zero. The adventure continues. We just made it to our room at Pino Saturni and B&B. It's been a very long day. We've been up over 30 hours. All right, good morning, everybody. We just got done having some breakfast here in Spino Saturnia. And right now we are following my cousin, John. And we are on our way to see as many aunts, uncles, and cousins within the next two days. Stick around, kids. Hopefully we'll get to go see some other places along the way. This is mom's homeland. It's Cugino Giovanni. <laughs> and you? A dog named Boo. A dog named Boo. Very nice. I will see the tips of the mountains. Right? The mountain, the name mountain, camera. Fumare no good. Fumare no good. <laughs> Wow, what an adventure so far, eh? Absolutely. Oh my God. The gnocchi, oh, the meat sauce. The gnocchi, the meat the sauce. Face. The shenanigans with my Look cousin John. No, that's changed. Uh -huh. Still the same years later. We got the grand tour of the gardens we here. We did. And we... Uh, the fruit trees and uh, prickly pears. Yep. And the uh, vineyards. Oh my God. And the winery in the back. That was great. Huh? And those pictures are priceless that you took. Family. That's why when I saw this, I'm like, wait a minute. I'm like, I know where we're going. Oh, I got to see my cousin John, and I got to see my cousin Roberto, and we got to see beautiful countryside, and of course, cousins Erica. Yeah, Sophia. Erica and Sophia. Yeah, priceless shenanigans, that's for sure. All right, more to come. weather, beautiful countryside, and now we're going to go find the castle. Hope you guys are all enjoying the adventure this far, and we're going to bring you more. All right, so we are at the castle on the hill.
is the train station. We are with my cousin Simona. Going to pick up my other cousin, Manuela. And this is what Glenn was telling you guys earlier by the sea, down there. Absolutely wonderful, incredible, out of this world. Memories we'll never forget. Well, what a day. We got busy. So our day started off downstairs with some Italian dishes um, out here in Italy. They don't eat eggs and bacon and stuff. They eat cake. And so it's tart. And tart. So we had some tart. tart. We had some cake. And Nutella. And some Nutella. And then we hung out with my cousin John, who I've not seen in 39 Too long. years. 39 years. That long? Yes. And he has not changed. He's 59. He was 20 when I saw him. Oh, no. Saw his brother Roberto. Saw my second cousins, Erica and Sophia. We saw my uh, Zia Gianna. And then we went and went for a ride with Giovanni in the countryside. And we got to do some walking. We went to see my uh, Zia Lina, my Zia Rosa. And then we hung out with his sister, Simona, and my second cousins, Michaela and Manuela. We went down to the train station. We got to see some of Formia, some of the sea. Saw my cousin, Otavio. So we're seeing a good handful of cousins while we're here. But tonight we're gonna go spend some time with my father's sis, no, my, no, I'm sorry, my mother's sister-in-law, Ziana, with her kids, um, Maria and Nino, and then we're gonna hang out with my second cousins, Ienia, I forget her son's name. We, um, we had a great day for day two. Tomorrow, our time here is limited, for we have to get to Naples. Hopefully we get breakfast with Simona. Yeah, we're getting breakfast with Simona tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And then maybe on the way back, I don't think we're gonna be have any time in Rome. We might be... But a little time in Rome, hopefully we get to see that. Yeah, so we're gonna try to finish out the entire tour and see if we can't see any more cousins before tomorrow's out because at some point tomorrow we have to get down there. But it would be nice if we can see everybody because we don't know when we're going to be back here again. Maybe next year, maybe a couple of years. Who knows? Maybe COVID-2 will come and you won't be here for another five years. Yeah, but that's the nice thing about Facebook because we all keep in touch. Yes, they all think I'm crazy. No, I'm not changing for anybody. So, peace, hope, out. peace out, you guys. Hope you enjoyed day two. We're ending it early. And um, stay tuned for more tomorrow. Even outside, my sunglasses are on and there's no sun. <laughs> oh gosh, you're outdoors and uh, yeah, they are pretty dark. Yep. Which reminds me, I should probably grab my sunglasses. I don't know where we're going to be, but I'll have to take, uh, well, I'm going to take my bag anyway. Right. This is uh, this is the bed and breakfast that we stayed at behind us here. Saturnia BB. And beautiful over, stay. This way is a beautiful garden. Beautiful stay. And, uh, and we were on the second floor up there. We had these balcony rooms. Mm -hmm. uh, downstairs, I, I believe, is a, a ballroom. Mm -hmm. And uh, when we were here four, four years, years ago, ago this, this place was really nice yeah. to stay at. And very affordable. Very, very affordable. $152 for three nights? Two nights. Two nights and three days? So that's not bad. Plus, you get bucks. breakfast if you want the breakfast mm -hmm. included. Yeah, the breakfast was really good. The, uh, the hotel in Naples is three times as much. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. Mm, that's uh, that's where we're staying tonight. We're staying Hopefully we can explore Naples too. Close to the cruise port. Yeah, yeah. And uh, oh, well, we'll get there this afternoon. Yep. We'll, have, uh, yeah, we'll have an entire day in, in Naples. So today's our last day here in Spino. Stick around. You may or may not see some footage, but you'll definitely see a lot of Naples. Mm -hmm. Including tomorrow when the embarkation part begins, or disembarkation begins. No, disembarkation. Oh, sorry, embarkation begins, because that's going to be a real good one for all you cruise enthusiasts. What, embarkation day? <laughs> oh yeah, we have a lot of cruise fans on here. Flag your so 
A lot of them have not been on MSC, so they're about to find out how really good it is. And some famous creator friends of ours mm -hmm. are actually going to be going on MSC later on this year. So we want to show them what the master or massive ship is all about. just arrived in our room here in Naples. Look at that beautiful shower. Oh yeah, great shower. We also have a beautiful room. Nice place just to put our head down. Hmm, I wonder where Glenn is. There he is. He's outside. Beautiful, there he is. Hi everybody. Beautiful city. Beautifully decorated for Naples winning soccer match. The first championship in 33 years. That's and this great. This whole town is decked out in blue and white. Yep. So now, in the next few minutes, we're going to go explore the city. We are going to go find something to eat and chill out because tomorrow we start the cruise. What time do we have to board our cruise tomorrow? 11? Around there. Yeah, around there. We're gonna go and tour the city and take in Naples for the day. Hope you guys are all having a great day. Remember to subscribe, like, comment down below if you like the content. We have all of our adventures booked for 2023, but if you are wanting us to go somewhere in 24, comment below, let us know, because starting on this trip, we will be booking adventures for next year. So have a good day and we'll see you later. Stati Uniti del Mundo. Do you know what that means? You're reading it. That's pretty big, man. So, behind us, the cruise port. And we'll pick up our MSC ship World Europa here tomorrow. Yeah, we got here within 10 minutes of a walk. Back here in the distance, Glenn, what do we got? Uh, we got a couple of snack bars over here. They're probably closing in 15 minutes, and then we'll have a couple of snack bars over here. It's very colorful in here. It is. What do you got there? Well, this is their special menu. They do some curries. They have a uh, tiki masala. We did get some chicken tikka. And down uh, here, the gulab jamal. That's a dessert. Right. Uh, there's also some chai and uh, lassi for dessert. A lot of different choices there. What's and the name of our restaurant? We've got the Taj Mahal restaurant in Kibao. What kind of wine are you drinking? For the Annie. Bergesane monitor. Sicilia. Sicily. Mm hmm So it's a white Sicilian. Grillo. Okay. And tell us about the taste. You know, it's uh, it's not too dry, but it's not sweet either. So it's got a good aroma. If you want to smell it, don't break the stem on the glass. Like a fruity wine. Mm-hmm. Good. And uh, very tasty. What in the world is this? Um, this is the uh, tiki chicken, tiki chicken. 
the chicken, okay? Wow, wow, wow. What do we have here? Well, this is our uh, shawarma platter. Where are we now? <laughs> oh. We have our own room. Your own tiny room. And look, there's the menu. Mm -hmm. It's on a tablet. We are in a Japanese restaurant in Italy. Kieran mm -hmm. signature dishes. Oh. Mm -hmm. Special Maduro, Mu Sanki Tabitaki, Milafogi, Tartar, and salad and soup. All right, so we're going to decide what to eat and we'll be back because we have to figure out this calendrum. Once again, they dropped more food. Is this all the food that you've ordered, or do you have more coming? No, I remember ordering that and that and that and that. I think that might be everything. Okay. Can we eat now? Eat away. <laughs> well, the lemon chicken was dynamite. Yep. The sashimi. I can't see them here, but... There's some raw shrimp inside of the sashimi, and right. our Western stomachs are not used to nope. eating raw shrimp. This was great. That reminded me a lot of the sweet and sour chicken yep. back home. But I didn't want some of the extra stuff that was inside there. Yeah, you have to use like chicken bread. You have to use the tenders of meat. You can't use something that's too chewy to eat inside of the breading. So, Overall, that amami was really good. She, so she made us like seven stars out of ten stars. The sweet and sour chicken. I don't know. Nine out of ten. Right? I think for me. Yeah, they get a half a half a set of stars for that one. And um, what else? We had sake. We had edamame. How was the sake? Because you you drank it. The sake was good. Could have been a little bit hotter, but that's just And how about your wine compared and to last I, time? I am enjoying the wine. Mm. We're gonna have to get some dessert, so I'm gonna enjoy more wine. You're ordering more food. <laughs> I found you. What is your that? Name? Sign us up. Takoyaki and hey. Naples. There you go. Do it. Anything else? Okay. Has you been to Osaka lately? No. Who's been to Osaka lately? We hmm. haven't. Not us. But this is the famous takoyaki. Dolce. Si. Mm. Oh my God. One more hand? No. Let's put it down. <laughs> what? So I have to take a photograph of these and that, and then you can dig in. Okay? Okay. Oh my God. GF and Wayne figured out how to get the receipt. Within a matter of minutes, it was here. This is how they break down the bill. Voila. Grazie, arrivederci. Good night, Naples. And the streets are alive in Naples! <laughs> Whoa! Thanks for watching, you guys. Good night from Naples. <laughs>